user is actually safe? Is Facebook being safe? Why should we trust privacy? My data. Facebook. 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 87 million Facebook users. Agreement sucks. Countless hearings eroded reputation. For some, Mark Zuckerberg and his company, Facebook, have become the villain of the internet age. Of all the questions that have been raised, the most frequent and important one is whether his social network empire could ensure the safety, as he promised, of all the personal information it has collected over years. Governments and the people want a straight answer from Zuckerberg, but he has equivocated and carefully hatched his answers. I'm asking you today very, very clearly that would you accept that today, Facebook is not a platform for all ideas that is operated impartially. When signing up for a social network, most of the information users type in, including their name, gender, age, email address, etc., is collected by the company that developed and now runs the site. Companies have also have access to users' photo albums and their contacts. By combining this personal information, social networking companies like Facebook can build up an accurate user profile. And and not just that, what has frightened the public in recent years is that these companies may be secretly collecting a kind of data called shadow profiles. Shadow profiles is a term for collecting personal information for non-users. Even if a person has never used Facebook before, but if one of his friends gave Facebook access to their contacts or other social network information, Facebook will use the data to create a profile of this non-user. But remember, this non-user has never agreed to Facebook's policy for data collection whatsoever. Mark Zuckerberg has been cagey about the existence of shadow profiles. Do you think, in your opinion, to collect non-Facebook non users' data without them knowing what you do with it? Is there anything else here? Shadow that... profiles. Shadow profiles. With social network giants having access to tons of thousands of people's personal data, the critical question becomes, how can the data be kept safe? The public's concerns focus on two aspects. One is data leakage or hacker intrusion, and the other is enterprises failing to fulfill their legal obligations to protect the data. And that means some companies may be actively sharing data with a third party or using the data for advertising without user consent. When data security is breached, it's not just users that suffer the consequences. It could even lead to suspicions that a country's elections could be somehow influenced. In fact, the, the genius who created a digital monster that is destroying our democracies and our societies. For the moment. In front of these internet giants, the power of an individual is minimal. The public is painting its hopes on strong government regulations to protect personal data. And we are seeing a tightening of legislation across the world. The European Union's general data protection regulation is widely considered the most stringent. Just说你不能说我授权给你以后，后面你这个数据的用途有很多，这个是不允许的。另外呢，保保证存储是有期限的，严格来说就是用完了你就得删除，最后一个原则叫做可追责原则。比如说出现了数据的泄露，那么我要
个人信息保护或者隐私的保护，并不是事情的全部。其实我们还要看到，就是说整个产业的一种发展，各个国家其实在找数据安全和产业发展之间的一种一种平衡。作为国家来说，我不能一刀切下去把把这些公司呃都都关闭。In 2017, The Economist published a story titled "The World's Most Valuable Resource Is No Longer Oil, But Data." Social networks count on data to build recommendation systems for their own growth. Companies like Facebook and Google rely heavily on data to make a profit. In the fiscal year of 2020, more than 80% of Google's total revenue came from highly data-driven advertising services. So, for a lot of countries, it's a trade-off. On one hand, you want companies to make as much money as they can to boost the country's GDP and thus to contribute to the country's economy. But on the other hand, you want to make sure the privacy of your own citizens are protected. So, what's behind Europe's strict rules? Oman's GDP, ah, it why is it so strict? It's so strict. 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 It's so When the internet is woven into every aspect of life, and when people start to realize that our own privacy matters, no one wants to see a Facebook scandal again. Given the booming industrial development and increasingly intense competition between major powers, using data to create value is not a bad thing. But remember, the price should not be our privacy.